What is going on guys and welcome back to another episode of the U.S. of Angling where I travel the U.S. full time in a travel trailer with my wife JC and I fish everywhere I go. Today we have one fish that we're going after and that is wipers, wipers, wipers. I'm freaking stoked. Other people call them hybrid striped bass. It's a female striped bass, male white bass. They breed them. The wipers or hybrid striped bass cannot reproduce. So everything that's in here is stocked, but they can be giant. Let's go catch something. All right. Oh, I have not been this excited oh, to be out fishing. I mean, I'm always excited, but I am freaking stoked. This net is getting put to use today. That's a freaking guarantee. Probably just jinx myself. I'm gonna break off 63 times, run out of tackle, and have to go home. So, I've got a confession to make, actually. I was down here yesterday, and I got skunked. The guys next to me did not get skunked. They were fishing a, I guess not like a totally different style, because, I mean, they were just throwing swim baits, but I was not able to catch fish, and they were freaking slamming them. So I went to the bait shop yesterday, picked up a few things, that are definitely gonna help us catch some wipers today, or at least hopefully. I was mind blown at what they were catching yesterday, and I just had to stand there right next to them, not being able to cast out far enough. So hopefully either of those fish moved in closer to shore, or hopefully these big old freaking swim baits, actually this is a fluke, but I'm gonna be throwing a three quarter ounce jig head, to start at least. We're gonna see what happens. I'm gonna start casting because I cannot freaking wait. <laughs> All right, guys. So this is what we're starting with. I think it's a four inch fluke. And then I'm throwing a three quarter ounce jig head, which is the biggest jig head I have ever thrown. But there's pretty good current in here and we need to be way the heck out there and on the bottom. I've got half ounces now too, but hopefully this three quarter ounce does the trick. All right, let's see. All right, there's bottom. So I can feel bottom. That's a good start. If I get freaking whacked by one of these wipers, probably going to crap my pants. And I wish I was kidding, but I'm not. <laughs> oh, this is going to be so sick. Oh yeah, there we go, that's out there. Gotta cast a country freaking mile from over here, but hopefully it's worth it. All right, I was just retying. That is a good noise. That means they're gonna start letting more water out. Usually when they let water out, it stuns a bunch of shad and stuff. So that should be pretty much like a dinner bell. And it's gonna go off here very shortly. See all that's starting to freaking churn up. That should be the dinner bell. Or I guess breakfast bell, it's morning. Oh yeah, this water's already picking up like crazy. There's one. All right, yes. <laughs> that was on the initial freaking drop. Oh my gosh, he freaking thumped it too. Yes. There's too many people here for me to freak out, but I literally want to freak out right now. He doesn't feel monster, but he feels freaking nice. Come on, stay on there. All right. <laughs> Finally. I say finally, I've been here for like 45 minutes. Yes. Okay, it feels a lot nicer than it did before now. Oh my gosh. Holy crap. This might be a freaking nice one. I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning. Come on. Get in here. This thing is freaking huge. 
come on. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah, he's a big one. He's a, he's a nice one. I need to get over here. Come on. Ooh. Stay on. Stay on here. Holy freaking crap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get over here. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh. Stay on here. That was on the initial drop. Holy crap. Holy crap. What a fish. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come over here, dude. Come over here. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh no. Freaking oh, crap. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Check him out. Oh my gosh. He freaking choked that thing too. <laughs> oh my goodness. Look at that thing. I gotta get a weight on it. I literally bought a scale yesterday, just in case I hooked up with one of these. Mm, okay. All right, let's see. So I just calibrated that yesterday. Not even calibrated, but put a five pound weight on. It is just over seven pounds. Oh my gosh. What a freaking beast. We've only been fishing for like 45 minutes. Hopefully we can keep freaking catching them. I'm gonna let this one go though. I might keep a couple, but not the first one. All right. Letting the first one go. If I catch something a little bit smaller, <laughs> I might keep a couple, but I'm not keeping the first one that's seven freaking pounds. Oh, right. oh yeah, he's gonna take, oh. Holy crap, was that freaking sick. <laughs> you guys, that was freaking awesome. And I caught that thing like, I don't know how many yards, a million, that was a freaking fight. That was on the initial drop. I hadn't even reeled in yet. And that was out there. Like, probably my furthest cast and it hit right away. <laughs> I'm still shaking from that. Oh my goodness, please let that happen again. If I was the only person here, I would be literally squealing like a seagull, but probably shouldn't do that. I want to though. Oh yeah, I didn't even think about it. I mean, it might have been coincidence, but that freaking dinner bell went off and it wasn't, I don't know, five minutes after that. Hopefully that means there's freaking more to come. What should I do? I feel like if I catch any under five pounds, I'll keep them. Under five, I'll keep. Over five, probably let them swim. That's more the size we're looking to keep. 
Maybe a little bit bigger than that, but that's going on the stringer. So that one came on white, and I switched to a half ounce just so it would sink a little bit slower. I'm thinking I'm banging on the bottom too much, and I need to be lower in the water column. So. There's also nine people here now, so yeah. It's gonna be hard to show excitement, but if I catch something big enough, I probably won't be able to help it. All right, another keeper. Switched back to green, because I've got plenty of green, or green, chartreuse. Didn't inhale it that time, but he definitely freaking thumped it. All right, this is definitely the size I'm looking to keep. Anything basically over five pounds, I'm gonna put back. These ones are gonna be perfect. All right, that's three fish. Once I switch to that half ounce jig, I feel like I've been getting a lot more bites. I think I was just bumping bottom too much with that three quarter thinking you want it just like a couple feet off bottom more than just scraping bottom the whole time but all right freaking gorgeous bang 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 freaking blast Another freaking beauty of a wiper. This one's nowhere near as big as the first one. I might as well weigh it. I bet this one's, I don't know, probably four pounds. I think this one's probably going on the stringer. Cutoff's gonna be five. Been a little while. I broke off and I had to put new braid on my rod because I wasn't able to get out far enough. So just got done dinking with that. Not even sure you guys can hear me. There we go. Oh my goodness. <laughs> These are a freaking blast. I'm going to get the scale. Hell yeah, bro. Yeah, not too bad. All right. I don't know if you guys can see that. Just under five. I can call it five. It's going on the stringer. <laughs> Anything over five pounds I plan on putting back. This one's like right at five, so. All right, guys, that is gonna wrap up this video. Gonna end up taking home three wipers, one right at five, a three, a two, and then I ended up putting that seven pounder back as you guys saw, but spring is officially here. The water is warming up. You guys need to get out there, hit the rivers, hit your lakes, hit your favorite ponds, because the fish are biting. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you wanna see more videos like this, make sure to hit that subscribe button. 
Thanks again, guys. Get out there and catch something.